girls in the sixth grade class have started their own chapter of Jennifer. Surreal news was the new normal. Little girls were siding with terrorists while I just sat there. Watching sort of the craven ratings chase that has followed various movements over the past few years has been illuminating. Grizzly murder of adult film actress. Another casualty, a yet unnamed ground. Ever since Jennifer, many of these young women feel less alone. I really wanted to speak to the experience of being in the middle of a time that's changing so fast that you don't know what the rules are anymore. It was really fun to have Kitty be sort of the poster child for like whatever works. Several days ago, you made the controversial decision to print the Jennifer Manifesto. We are very proud to be the catalyst for an important conversation. Women have been angry for a long time. So is it really so surprising that after all the abuse they've taken, they are finally fighting back with deadly force instead of just words? Kitty has not become radicalized. Kitty is an opportunist. She jumps on board because it'll mean there's more viewers and more subscribers to her magazine. The sales numbers for all the manifesto issues, double-digit growth across the board. It's like a dream. Cheryl has a very strong moral compass when it comes to the truth, and that's really where she comes up against Kitty. Is this just business to you? Oh, please, don't be dramatic. Kitty has crossed a moral line, but it's really the first time Cheryl witnesses Kitty full flow and just thinks, no, this is wrong. If my readers want Jennifer, it's my job to deliver. Even if people die because of you? Tell me you haven't thought about it. All those years of being demeaned and harassed and screwed over, you've never wished you could pull the trigger. I see her as someone who's trying to adhere to the new rules and looking like she knows how to do it flawlessly until it gets to a place where real damage has actually been done to human beings and she has to battle her demons and also her demotion. I went on television and aligned us with terrorists, Kitty. I went on television and aligned us with a movement. They killed Stella Cross. It's disgusting, it's terrible. And you should be glad we're not making enemies of those people. I'm afraid we're looking at a regime change. In this episode, Plum goes on a bunch of dates. Oh. This isn't gonna work out. The not too subtle method of the New Baptist plan is just to continually expose Plum to sort of ritual humiliations that go along with trying to conform to normal standards of behavior and beauty. You're not what I expected. You're smart and funny, and I'm really enjoying this. I think the little hopeful part in her believe that maybe going on these dates would change something or these guys would be different. And it goes just like she thought it would. So when you came back and found him gone, what did you think? Honestly, screw you, Verena. How Verena justifies what she puts Plum through, it's not manipulation so much as it is step out, have a set of experiences that terrify you, Take all the pain from it, take the lessons from this, and see if you can view it a different way. You can't force someone to like something the whole world tells them is gross and unhealthy. You think it's impossible? I think it would take a revolution. Each of the blind dates was humiliating for its own reason, but the last one, I think it hurt the most because he had the most potential. Wow, color is stunned. Then the curtains were drawn, and it was clear that he doesn't see Plum as a person. He's got an idea of something else. You're just like the rest of them. You're a creep and a user. She's tired of not being surprised by people. She's tired of being so disappointed in people. And I think that she's kind of at the end of her rope. A creature doesn't feel. A creature can be punched, lied to, abused, debased. But there's freedom in that. If you don't feel, you can't care. And if you can't care, you can do anything. I love that idea. It's like she's been dismissed by everyone, but she is planting her feet and she's refusing to dismiss herself, which is exciting. I'm ready. <laughs>